If you were to give one piece of advice to someone thinking about buying their first house this year, what would you tell them? I would tell them to just go ahead and look. You know, if you if you found yourself looking at Zillow for a long time and, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to go out and look. Have you ever wondered what it is like to buy your first house in a crazy real estate market? You're about to find out. Welcome to The Landis Look, where we take an inside look at the world of real estate. And today I'm here with Emma and Casey to share the experience that Emma had buying her first house. Thanks for being here, y'all. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah. So Emma recently bought her first house in Westview. And Casey, one of the awesome agents on our team, is the one who helped her through the process. And so, Emma, why don't you start out with how did you decide it was time to buy your first house? So I had kind of casually been looking, you know, just on Zillow and other apps um, at houses in Southwest Atlanta for a few months prior to me actually um, taking the plunge to see one. And there was a house that came up that I was like, I just got to go see this one in person. So um, I uh, I clicked the little button where it's like schedule a showing and I didn't realize I'd be paired with an agent for that. Um, and then Casey's name came up and I was like, cool. And so met up with Casey to go see that house and a few others. And at first, and Casey can probably attest to this, I was like, I'm just looking like, I don't know if I'm ready to take the plunge yet. But the more houses I saw and the more research I did into, you know, where the market is right now and how low interest rates are and like, you know, how financially savvy of a decision it would be to, you know, make right now in this market. Um, I decided to go ahead and take the plunge. So I kind of started out very casual and then all of a sudden it's like I'm putting offers in. So it's a crazy ride. Casey, what was your impression when you first met Emma? I mean, what did you think of where she was in the process of potentially buying a place? Yeah, I mean, she kind of hit the nail on the head. She was very clear with me that she had just started. This was her first house and she was just looking. It could be months. It could be a year. It could be Never. Uh, but it, she was very clear with me on that. And so I just told her, I said, that's okay. You don't know and, until you start looking and you see what's out there. Do your research. And so we'll just take it at your pace and figure out what is right for you and when the right time is. And one thing led to another and she found something she loved. So it came quicker than we both thought would happen. Nice. And Emma, you hit the absolute Zillow jackpot by getting paired with Casey because you didn't know who you were going to get paired with. And the response Casey just had, I don't think that's the response everyone would have had to, hey, I'm just looking. I might not never buy something. Um, and so I love that y'all got connected that way. And then I'm curious on your side, Emma, what did you think, you know, what did you think it was going to be like? I mean, after you saw that first house and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go see more. What was your expectations for the rest of the process? I mean, I thought it would be a longer process than it was, um, but I don't know. When, once I started like digging my toes in and like, you know, seeing these houses, it's like I had looked for, you know, houses with my family before and things like that. But like, you know, when it was like time for like my house, like I just kind of started like really, sorry, I'm going to lose my train of thought. <laughs> sorry, the edit comes. <laughs> um, sorry, let me pick back up. Um, yeah, I just really felt like, you know, I could start picturing myself in these places. And, um, you know, I, I felt like I was just really ready. Um, but I mean, the process went a lot like faster than so how long did it take you from the time you saw that first house till the time you got the house you're currently in under contract? <laughs> um, I think it was, let's see, I saw the first house at the beginning of July. And I think by Either the end of July or the first week of August, I was starting to put in offers. And then I ended up with this house, um, I think it was August 20th. So it was like slightly over a month for the entire wow. process. And, I mean, Casey, how does that compare to the norm? I mean, how is that compared to, to the norm for your buyers? Um, I think it depends on where they are in the process. Um, but I think like she said, you know, at first she was just casually looking and then she started visualizing her life in these homes. And so it made it more real and it made it it more something that she was ready to do um, and pull the trigger to, to put an offer on a house. Um, but I think that, I think that that's actually, you know, average, if somebody's ready to buy a home, I don't think that that's that long. I think that just going into it thinking we're not quite ready <laughs> made it seem a little faster. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I've said this for years, we've said this on the team for years, there's no substitute for going in houses. I mean, it is great. The ability to search online now and see street view and overhead view and virtual tours is awesome. But I think you could probably attest to this, Emma. 
when you walk in the house, it's just different. I mean, it's just different to physically be in the house. Oh, definitely. And especially because I was looking at primarily older houses. I think almost every single house I looked at was at least from the 1950s, if not the 1920s. So um, there's a lot of houses in Atlanta that, you know, look beautiful on the internet, Um, you know, especially so many flips and stuff. But man, when you actually go inside, it can be a totally different story or it could look a lot better in person, you know? You never know. So we definitely, Casey and I definitely saw um, both ends of that spectrum, but it was, um, it was a fun adventure, but yeah, nothing's a substitute for going to see it in person. And also like, you know, getting a feel for the street and the neighborhood, like, you know, really feeling what it would be like to be there um, was important. And Emma, did you get the first house you made an offer on? Is the house you're in right now, the first house you made an offer on or not? It was not, it was my third, um, but they were, I put in three offers in nine days. So it wasn't like a crazy long process for when I started putting in offers. Casey, what would you say about those three houses and how competitive it was and what it took to, to get a house? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty competitive. People were wanting, I mean, the, the style of home that, that Emma wanted was a style that a lot of people were wanted, wanted. And so they were pretty competitive. And we learned as we went, right, what she was willing to put into the homes that she really wanted or that she kind of was like, this could be nice, but maybe not perfect. Um, So I think it helped us. uh, I mean, no one wants to lose any, but I think it helped us learn along the way what was important to her and how to decide what a strong offer is on a home that she knows is the perfect one for her. Yeah. Yeah. Emma, what was your observation of that? Those nine days? What were those nine days like for you where you made those offers and then eventually ended up with this house? They were crazy. It was a little bit of like a, you know, roller coaster. And I, um, I was very emotionally invested in the process and Casey was super good at like, you know, bringing me back down to earth, you know? And, um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was crazy. It was competitive. They were all multiple offer situations, all over asking. Um, they were all like only after a day or two on market. Um, so it was, it was pretty crazy, (laughs) but, uh, yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. It was just kind of a roller coaster, but you know, once I, um, I saw the house I, um, am living in now, I saw it the morning of, it was a Saturday morning. And then by Saturday afternoon, we all had to have our offers in. And then Saturday night, I got the call that I got it. So, um, it wasn't too long. I was waiting around. When that's was a big day. <laughs> yeah. That's a big day. I like that. Yep. Yeah. And it just gone on the market. Like, the day before that. It was within 36 hours. I had a house. It was crazy. <laughs> and the craziness doesn't stop there because that first week, that's when you're having the inspection. You're finding out all about the house. How did that process go? How was the inspection process? Um, it was, you know, a little nerve wracking for me being a first time home buyer. And, um, you know, this house is about a hundred years old. So I wasn't sure what kind of stuff I was going to find. It also wasn't a flip. So um, it's been you know, owner occupied for a long time. And, you know, there's lots of like, you know, projects that have been done over the years, but I just want to make sure everything was like done properly. Um, I actually went with the inspector Casey lined me up with, um, we, the inspection was in the rain, which was great. We found out that it needed a new roof, which got taken care of. Um, Casey negotiated that with the sellers. Um, but Casey was really good at like going through the inspection report with me. And once again, since Casey has an older home. It's like, okay, this is stuff that's common. Like, you know, you might find like settling in an older home, for example, and it's, you know, that's an okay thing to find. But like, you know, she was like, this is where, this is what we should ask the sellers for. Cause I think, you know, this is stuff that should be fixed. And then this is stuff that like is okay. So yeah. yeah I mean, Casey to have, you know, that inspection report as a first time home buyer, it can be super intimidating because even on an inspection that is great, Those inspection reports are often like 60 or 70 pages and there's tons of stuff, you know, listed in it. That doesn't mean the house is falling down, but it does take some skill and ability to sort through it, which it sounds like you and Emma did that together on this house. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you mentioned, it's a hundred year old house. So there was a lot of things to find, but it's sorting through what are just normal home ownership things and what are things and then what do we need to go back and ask for help with? Um, I should mention we got a new roof. We got some other things on the home. Uh, it, it's setting proper expectations because it does seem like a lot. And it is a lot. Home ownership is a lot. But it's kind of setting the expectations of where where we need to be with the sellers and where you should feel okay with projects that you'll have after owning the home. 
Yeah. And then Emma, now that you're in the home, projects, she wanted projects. So that yeah. Was so that's what I was going to ask. So, I mean, tell us about from the time you bought it until now, what's that been like and what have you done? Um, it's been great. Um, I have done a few projects. I, um, refinished the floors in the living and dining room. Um, and I've painted almost everything. Um, I got new gutters this past week, actually. Um, and then I'm looking at um, doing some stuff to the porch too to make it like more open. So um, yeah, it's been good. It's really fun. Like, you know, all the possibilities, overwhelming at times with all the possibilities that, you know, I've got a whole house and I'm on, I think it's like a fifth acre of land. And, um, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in the backyard too for spring and summer. So yeah, it's been because great. It's Right. I mean, that's the great, that's yeah. one of the, just the great things. And that's a benefit. I think that, you know, I have personally felt, and I've heard a lot of people share is just, it's mine. And so I can make it what I want. And it's hard to put that. If you're a very analytical numbers person, hard to put that into a spreadsheet, but there is some value in, yeah, this is my place and I'm going to make it what I want. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I was living in an apartment before this, so definitely a way different experience having my um, own place, but it's, it's nice, especially because I'm working from home indefinitely. Um, I have an office now. I've got, you know, space to spread out. <laughs> like it's, it's really a nice change. Awesome. Well, Emma, to wrap this up, if you were to give one piece of advice to someone thinking about buying their first house this year, what would you tell them? I would tell them to just go ahead and look. You know, if you, if you found yourself looking at Zillow for a long time and, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to go out and look, um, you know, and, I would highly recommend Casey um, if, you know, they're looking for someone to, you know, take this journey with. Um, I didn't set that up. I promise that's not planned. <laughs> I, we didn't discuss this beforehand. But yeah, hey, there's some great on. advice. <laughs> oh, contact Casey. Same there's some plug. great advice to find your first house. So. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no harm in, you know, going and looking. And um, it's a competitive time to buy, but it's definitely a great time to buy. So, yeah. Casey, what advice would you give to somebody this year for their first house? Say the same thing. Just go into it with an open mind. Make sure you're working with somebody that you trust that can guide you through this market because it is crazy, like Emma said. Um, and just just have that guidance, um, but have an open mind and, and take a look and see if this is the time for you. I like it. Awesome. That's great advice, y'all. There's no substitute for going in houses. Go out and see them. And then, yeah, I mean, you know, we were joking about Casey, but I mean, having great help is more important now than ever on the buy side because this is the most competitive, lowest inventory situation that we've had in this real estate generation. And so you really do need that advice and guidance more than ever. Um, and it's awesome that Casey is able to provide that. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for your time today. If anyone listening has any specific questions, any follow-up on this, drop us a private message like so many of you do, and we will see you all next week. Thanks again, y'all.